People who are dreading Thanksgiving, you're saying it's an opportunity to get together. You're saying the president is using mind control. So finally, the first step. You say this is a cult. What's the first step to deprogramming? has been popping up more and more. Uh, thinking back to two weeks ago on this program, Anthony Scaramucci uh, talked about his claim that Trump supporters are in a cult. Well, it appears that CNN and the DNC have settled on their narrative going forward, and that's going to be to attack their opposition as a cult. Which is really weird, because back when Obama was president, it was pretty common for right-leaning media to describe Obama and his supporters as a cult. So I just thought I'd show you guys this. Uh, while I was doing research for this video, I searched for Obama cult, and it seemed to just sort of break Google. You search for Obama, it's fine. Search for Obama cult, you get results, but then they just disappear. Like you see it pop up real quick there. And so I tried the same thing on uh, Firefox and got the same result. Search for Obama, it's fine. Search for Obama cult and it breaks it. I wonder if images works. Okay, so images works. Just like the search results. So I don't know what it means, just thought I'd share that with you. Not only were the media slavishly dedicated to Barack Obama, with some so-called journalists even bowing to him, but we even had creepy little kids singing religious hymns about Obama, and Hollywood stars pledging themselves to Obama as if he were a holy figure or, yes, a cult leader. I pledge to be a servant to our president and all mankind, because, because together, together we can, can. Together we are, and together we will be the change that we seek. Give an honor to God and our Lord and Savior, Barack Obama. We're gonna spread freedom. Obama's gonna change it. Obama's gonna lead them. We're gonna change it. Because of Obama, I'm inspired to be the next lawyer. Because of Obama, I'm inspired to be the next out of mode technician. Because of Obama, I'm inspired to be the next chef. The media also regularly portrayed Obama as if he were a holy figure, constantly photographing him in ways that you might see Jesus portrayed in paintings. Some media was even comparing Obama to an actual god, and they were roundly mocked for it on right-leaning media. Not just parochial, we're not just chauvinistic, we're not just provincial, we stand for something. I mean, in a way, Obama's standing above the country, above above the world. He's sort of God. He's, he, yeah. he's, he's going to bring... Which brings us to the present time, where Trump definitely does have dedicated support, but without all the drooling adoration from the media. Hollywood and creepy little kids. It's almost like CNN feels the need to get back at Republicans for calling them a cult. Very professional, very journalisming. None of them are mental health experts. Stephen Hassan is. Oh, great. Brian Stelter has brought on a mental health expert. What are his credentials? Where's his data? Who knows? All we know is that he's coming on the national airwaves to diagnose millions of people he doesn't know as cultists and the only other political party in this country as a cult. I'm pretty sure no credible, professional mental health expert would ever do that. Seeing as how, according to the APA Ethics Code, Section 9, quote, Offering a diagnosis based solely on a record review raises special considerations and unique challenges with a great ethical significance. Needless to say, this hack doesn't even have a record of review to meet the standards for deciding if a diagnosis should even be made. This guy and others that Brian Stelter brings on to smear half the country are operating outside the standards and ethics of actual mental health experts. So I define a destructive cult as an authoritarian pyramid structured group with someone at the top who claims to have total power and total wisdom that uses deception and, and control of behavior, information, thoughts, and emotions to make people loyal and dependent and obedient followers. Wow, did he just describe Democrats and their media? No, seriously, everything he just said there could easily be applied to the previous administration, the left, and the media.
Quickly, let's just go down the list of what he described. An authoritarian, pyramid-structured group with someone at the top who claims total power and wisdom. Sounds a lot like intersectionality, feminism, and left-wing ideology in general. And we all know that the left has the victim Olympics with black trans women at the top and straight white males at the bottom. Anyone who stands up to this belief system is set upon as a heretic and removed from society if possible. Look at how they treat Greta Thunberg, even comparing her to religious holy figures and dedicating themselves to her. Huh, that seems really familiar. Deception, control of behavior, information, thoughts, and emotion to make people loyal and dependent. The media and the Democrats regularly use these tactics to control people's behavior in regards to topics like climate change, accepting trans people as the sex they're pretending to be, and other issues surrounding that group like men and women's locker rooms, men and women's sports, and saying undeniable facts like men can't be women can get you fired or ostracized from society altogether. We'll get right back to this media meltdown, but first let me take a quick moment to thank this episode's sponsor, PatrioticLegacy.com. PatrioticLegacy.com was nice enough to send me over one of these units so I could give you an honest review. I love this tactical flashlight. It's got everything you would ever need. Six overall lighting functions, escape features like the window hammer and the seatbelt cutter, solar charging so you don't need batteries, a power bank for charging your phone and other devices, and a removable compass with access to a personal safety alarm. Patriot Legacy supports veterans and YouTubers like yours truly. So head on over there and make sure to use the promo code DRONE20 to get 20% off your purchase. Thank you. So for me, the, the issue of between a, an ethical, healthy cult where you're free to think and free to leave versus a destructive cult, I'm referring to uh, the, uh, Trump's organization and, and mm. followership as a destructive cult. At first, I really wondered what he was getting at here. There's good cults? I've never heard of a good cult, have you? But then I remembered their prime directive. It's, it's different, different when, when we, we do, do it. it. This guy knows that many saw the Obama administration and his supporters as very cult-like. So he's throwing that out to excuse it as different when they do it. Their cults are good, while the alleged cults of their political opposition are destructive. First step, if you say this is a cult, what's the first step of deprogramming? What's the first step of deprogramming? <laughs> say deprogramming? Another word for that might be re-education. Sounds really cult-like based on your own standards. For the people who are dreading Thanksgiving, you're saying it's an opportunity to get together. The first step with anyone who's a true believer is contact with people uh, that are outside the bubble. Uh, cult leaders want to isolate their people. Are you freaking kidding me? Brian Stelter's main narrative is not to watch Fox News because it's conspiracy theories and right-wing propaganda. Uh, in other words, appealing to the person's true self, their authentic self, that wants to be a good person, that, want, that believes in America and democracy. He's literally doing what he just said is cult-like behavior. Because being a Democrat and towing their line automatically means you're a good person person and whoever is opposite of you a cultist that's all i have for you today folks please like share and subscribe i'm gonna be out of town for thanksgiving so i'm not sure if i'm gonna be publishing any videos the rest of the week i might experiment with some cell phone videos or something like that but i'm not 100 percent sure just keep an eye open for it if you want to support this channel you can find all the links in the description and the pinned comment thank you